What are two great flavors that people love? Chocolate and lemon. Suppose we combine the two together today. We're not going to make a lemon rang pie. I'm still harvesting tons of lemons on the rancho. Today we're going to make a chocolate bottom lemon pie and we're going to make it the easy way. Let's get to it. And before we get underway, if I could ask you to take a second, hit the subscribe button and the bell for all notifications because, well, this is a variety channel like no other. And holiday time, so I am in baking mode before I get into travel mode, vintage audio mode, metal detecting mode. Enjoy it while it lasts. So, lemon harvesting here on the rancho. I'm lucky enough, because of climate and everything, to have a working rancho here with the ultimate goal to produce one ton or 2,000 pounds of fruit per year. Lemons is a big part of that. And the Meyer Improved Lemon is very juicy. I think I squeezed about five lemons here for one cup of lemon juice. And they also made some zest here, too. I took the box grater and zested the outside of a few arms because we're going to go uh, lemons because we're going to go fast today. We're not going to make a lot of time. You can get a pre-made pie shell and then bake that. I'm going to roll out a quick pie shell here. I'm going to bake that off and then I'm going to show you how simple it is to make a chocolate bottom lemon pie using um, milk chocolate. Um, chocolate chips as well as the lemon filling. It's going to be great. There's a few tricks we need to talk about though as we go along. Let's get to it. Let me get the dough out of the freezer that's been chilling and always chill your dough before you roll it out. It helps relax the gluten. It makes it easier to roll out and a bit less sticky too. Okay, see you in a minute. Yeah, I'm rolling this out. Gonna go about an eighth of an inch thick. And you can use the uh, pie plate for a good gauge of how big you should roll it out. And I got some spots that are a little thin. I just add some dough to that. I think that, uh, that cuts it really well there. I like the thickness of it. Give it one more roll and make sure you roll all the way to the edge. Okay. And then we're going to transfer it to the pie plate here and make sure that you have an oven safe one. Okay, very critical. And all I do is just kind of gather this up on top of the rolling pin. And then just kind of unload it like so. And you can you can move it around, reconstruct it. If you've got some deep spots like I have here with a little bit of cracking, you don't want to push it down. You don't want to make too thin those spots. But that's really good initially there. All right. Work that around a little bit. Make sure I've got no real huge surplus. I like the crust to kind of be uniform all around. And as I said, any low spots build up with a um, some of the dough that you take from other areas. Nobody's going to see it. Now just take your edge of the dough and uh, pop it underneath fold it underneath the edge there and you're going to create a nice ridge of dough that's going to be very easy to turn into a pretty little fluted edge i try to keep that all even sometimes it's a little thicker in areas big deal that's what makes a uh, homemade pie next take your thumb and your forefinger and just press the side in to do that classic fluting. Make sure you grease your uh, pie plate too before you put your dough in. I'm making this little flute here, pushing against the side, little ridgy triangles. It's a fun part. And don't, don't put this in the oven or it'll collapse, okay? 
This needs to reset in the freezer for about a half an hour, okay? Very, very important. And look at how that nice that is. I'm going to stick that in the freezer for a half hour. I'm going to set the oven on uh, 500 degrees. We're going to pre-bake this pretty shell, okay? Make sure you have some pie weights, too. They're very, very useful for keeping the size of the pie from going in when it is uh, heated, okay? We're also going to put some fork pricks on the bottom. It's called docking the dough, and that allows the dough to lay flat when it is baking. So into the freezer she goes. See you guys in a half hour. Welcome in everybody. The pie shell is nicely, let's get a little more light on. The pie shell is nicely baked here. In the dark. Not baked, but nicely uh, frozen. It's going to hold its shape good. Now we're going to take some aluminum foil. We're going to work it in and up to the edge, pushing it into the fluted areas. And they're not, they're going to hold good. And then we're going to put our pie weights in it. And this is going to keep the sides from collapsing down. I preheated the preheated diamond to about 450 degrees. And we're going to put that in it for an initial 20 minutes and then take out the pie weights, okay? Exciting! There she goes. See you guys in about uh, 20 minutes. This next part, we want to be really careful. Oh, I've had sneezing. I don't know why. It's been in about 15 minutes, and now we want to remove the pie weights, and we want to coat the bottom of the pie with a little bit of uh, egg wash, beaten egg, because we don't want the chocolate to, to seep into. We'd like a nice division between the bottom crust of the pie and the uh, chocolate that we're going to be throwing in, okay? So let's go ahead real carefully here. Let's pull this out. I'm going to very carefully remove the pie weights and put them into this, uh, this pan here. This bowl I have, this stainless bowl. Be very careful. Just take your time. And that's a safer way to transfer them than just trying to pour them directly back into the um, directly back into the jar because of the small amount. Now we're going to take some of this egg and we're going to brush the bottom with our pastry brush here. Okay, and this is going to give it a nice glaze on the bottom. And you can take it up a little bit on the sides too. And what that's going to do is prevent that chocolate from seeping in. And we're using five egg yolks here to put into our uh, lemon filling. So we're only borrowing a little bit here. Okay, we're not going to be putting that much in. All right, that's looking good. And now back in the oven she goes for about 10 or 15 more minutes till we get a really nice set on this crust and we get really good color. Okay. There we are. We got that baby sealed. Back in. See in 10 or 15. Welcome back in. Our alarm just went off. We're going to pull our shell. I'm sure it looks beautiful. And the rest is going to be really quick. This is a really simple pie to make. It's open face. We're not going to be using doing any meringue. Sound like wonderful. It's got beautiful color to it. You don't want to over bake these shells or they become very tough, okay? Then we're going to simply take some chocolate chips and we're going to pretty evenly disperse them along the bottom there, okay? All right, about as even as I can make it. All right, and that's about it bag of chips. You can see how that is, how that looks. Lift that up a little bit. They're going to melt, but they're not going to go down into the crust. And they're really going to be nice when we pour the hot lemon topping over top of it. So if you need to shake that, 
them moving around a little bit, that's fine. It's time to get on to the next part. We've got a little over a quarter of a cup of cornstarch in here. We're going to put our five egg yolks in. All right, I know I borrowed a little bit. Three quarters of a cup of lemon juice that I squeezed. Going to put one cup of uh, water here. Okay. And we're going to put about three quarters of a cup of uh, sugar. And we're going to reduce the sugar a little bit because we have the chocolate on the bottom, which is going to be uh, sweet. So let's get this gone in the back. We'll get our whisk. And we're just going to continuously mix this over the heat. We're also going to put our zest in. Don't forget that. Pop your zest in. All right. The zest is very important. That's where the flavor all comes from. The, the real good lemon flavor. All right. And we're going to work that together real good. And we're going to have two tablespoons of butter on the side, ready to go to put in. Once this hits the set point at a point where it's going to gel, it'll get there very thick as I uh, show you coming up here. Okay? Bear with it. We're getting to the home stretch here. Now some of those chips are already melting and going to make a very smooth bottom there. It's a lot easier than fooling around with a ganache. Okay, the trick with this is you want to keep stirring, stirring, stirring continuously so you don't get any burn. You can tell it reaches the set point. Big bubbles come up. That looks great. Nice and thick. We're going to turn that off and we're going to take our two tablespoons of butter. Drop it in. That's going to cream that filling and take a little bit of the sharpness off of it. Okay, that's beautiful looking. Look at the set on that. Okay, that's going to gel real nicely. Be delicious. So we want to keep whipping. Okay, and then we'll pour it in the shell. Okay, don't need that. Be very careful. This is a very hot liquid. We're going to pour this in, and this is going to be, you can serve this with whipped cream, you could even put lemon meringue, but we've already done a lemon meringue here, so I think that looks pretty amazing as is, and that is going to set beautifully, it's going to have that chocolate on the bottom. And once it sets up and really firm and cuts, it's going to be delicious. I guarantee you. A few final words and we'll wrap it up. That's going to do it for the pie. It's one of the easiest and it'll be one of the most delicious pies you ever make. That combination of lemon and milk chocolate just cannot be beat. If you're not going to serve this, and if you don't mind, it will form a little bit of a film on top. If after you pour your filling in, you don't want that film, you can immediately cover it with some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. And then when it comes time to serve, you won't have that on top. I think serving it with whipped cream, it's not going to much matter. Hey, it's going to be delicious. Our own Meyer lemons from the Rancho. So thank you guys for watching the black bottom or chocolate bottom lemon pie. Your thumbs up are appreciated and uh, please like and share. And uh, thanks so much for watching and make sure you are subscribed. Have fun here on the Rancho. Happy holidays everyone.